good morning YouTube uh, this is Tetris to you coming once again to you from uh, my sewing room today I have a list of um, sewing tools that you will need to get started with your sewing I know some of you are anxious to hear some of the tutorials I have and so I want to go ahead and get this list of items to you I have uh, gathered a few of those items right here let's see if we can get them in view for you and I'll just tell you what we have there will be a list at the end of the video so that you can um, you can have that if you need to go to the store or what have you okay so let's get started first of all you see I selected two pairs of shares and the reason for this is you'll use one pair for paper, which is be trimming your pattern or any other paper that you may have to trim card stock or anything that you're gonna make your own patterns out of. And the other one you will use to um, cut your fabric. Now this is important because you use the scissors for paper, it becomes dull very fast and if you use it after to cut fabric, the fabric will most likely chew or um, come out uneven then um, if you use the paper scissor instead of your fabric scissor. Okay, so you wanna keep that in mind. Now we'll go over here and this is a rotary cutter. It has a round blade on it. It has a round blade and you can adjust, do some adjustments with this, some adjusting with the little knob right there. Uh, let me see if I can get this on here for you. Okay, you can make some adjustments with that little knob. Or, as I said before, it does have a round blade on it. And um, it, uh, you press this little button right here and it brings it back into safety so that you can't get cut it's behind the shield that's on the end of that okay and that usually comes with or you can buy it with the cutting mat and if you look closely it brings this a little bit closer it is uh, graduated in inches across so that you can use it to um, cut various things like um, make uh, pieces of fabric for making quilting or patchwork or even um, just to, to use it for measuring, if you will. Then I suggest that you get purchase a tape measure for um, measuring um, your body and finding your size. And then, I always suggest that you get a mechanical um, tape measure because this will assist you well when you get ready to hem those jeans or your skirt, you know, and those items because it'll help you keep um, in a straight line um, to make sure that you're measuring the same all the way the, across. Okay then you'll want to get you some hand sewing needles they usually come in a variety pack like this and um they have they're all different lengths and all different um uh different uh points on them some are sharper point and some are our ball point for those um if you're sewing um uh, your knit fabrics are very delicate fabrics you'll want to use a ball point needle okay and then most importantly you'll want to get you some purchase some pins i like to get the pins with the uh, colored heads because they're easier to see and get up off of the floor if they drop or if they drop in the carpet you can see the little colored heads um, very, pretty easily you might want to i didn't include it in this collection but you might want to get yourself a magnet as well the next item is uh, tracing paper uh, tracing wheel and tracing paper 
and I'll explain to you uh, some homework that I'm going to give you, so to speak. If you're just starting to sew, you'll want to have these two items on hand um, as soon as possible because you're going to need it. Okay. Now you have um, you ha we have the seam rippers. Seam ripper basically is to go ahead and um, make corrections to seams that you put together. You may want to um, get a smaller one like this for the finer fabrics. And then they do come in different sizes. And then there's the larger one in case um, you're doing uh, using fabrics like denim or corduroy or working with your jeans things like that then the bigger one for a heavier uh, fabric would come in very handy okay and then of course you need to have a pin cushion so that you can put your pins in it's easier to reach for the pins um, while you're working if you you have a pin cushion okay now as i said you're going to need to get your tracing paper and you'll need to get your um, tracing wheel and what you're going to do with this if you're a first time sewer this is what i'm going to suggest you get a plain piece of fabric your tracing paper. You're going to put the tracing paper on top of the fabric. And then on top of the tracing paper, you're going to use a lined piece of notebook paper. And what you're going to do is just going to just uh, trace right on those lines. Stay straight on the line straight on the line you could do about every other line if the the tracing if the uh, notebook paper is really um, thin line you can do about every other line and then what will happen is the um, tracing will come out on your fabric and then what you'll do is simply follow uh, the lines and practice uh, sewing a straight line on your sewing machine because you're going to need it for the next project. You're going to have a very simple project. Um, it won't call for a lot of supplies, just uh, thread and um, your scissors, you know, those things so that you can cut. And then uh, we're going to use the sewing machine to create um, a nice uh, usable or functional item the next time I see you. Okay. Great, um, go ahead and um, if this is your first time um, looking at my video, please subscribe. Um, invite your friends um, to take a look at what we're doing over here and um, touch your cyan. Have a great day.